hello guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm out hopefully gonna have loads of fun i'm fishing a light setup targeting small pike and you know what it's like catching small pack on a light setup so much fun fishing the exact same setup that i used a week or two ago when i was targeting pike on that tiny little stream you'd have seen um but today i'm using some slightly different baits i've got a brand new jerk bait which is from berkeley it's a dex bullet jerk bait which i'm using um i think it runs to about a meter to two meters deep and then I've also got a spinner bait to use as well that I'll use later on as a change bait. But for now, we'll start searching the river, canal rather, and I'll show you my setup a bit later on. I'll see if we can get a few pike out. Whoa, what a take, oh no. Oh, let's just see how close that was. There we go, there's a pike. Oh, I blew some of drag off. Oops. Let's please stay on. Oh, he's wrapped himself up. He's probably gonna stay on. He's proper wrapped up in the braid. You gotta be careful when you wrap up in the braid. Because if you put too much pressure on, you'll cut into him. Okay, we're good. He's just he's just hooked funny now. He's got one hook in the mouth and one up right over the top of its back in the gill plate. Yep, so I watched him crush it though. Alright, I'm gonna be careful. I'm not gonna put him in the net. I'm just gonna go for it with a chin. There we go. <laughs> Proper trickly, trickly hooked. Tricky hooked one then. And uh yeah, if you put too much pressure on a pike when they got wrapped up, the uh, braid will actually cut into them. Because if you ever see pike with thin lines down them, it's because the braid's cut in. You can actually see it. I mean, you can't even see it on the camera. It's a very, very faint mark where the braid has it caught it a little bit. Yeah. So you've got to be careful. There we go. Beautiful little jack pike. Once again, on that little jerk bait, little DEX jerk bait. And a beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Really feisty. Whoa, see you later, big guy. He's off. So the pike comes really close then. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There you want it. Pike's gonna have it, trust me. It's got stuck in the leaves on the bottom and it put him off. Need to get away from the bank. That pike will have it, trust me. He likes the pauses. We're gonna catch him. You ready? Got him, told you. <laughs> I just, I've got used to telling when a pike is gonna go for that bait. You can just tell when they're so fired up. He absolutely crushed it. Both hooks in that mouth. Beautiful pike. Really well hooked. Look at that proper T-bone. So much fun on the light setup. Look at that, absolutely crushed it. T-boned it. There we go. It's only a small jack, but it's so cool watching them come flying in after that bait. So fired up. Especially the smaller ones on the light setup. So much fun. Right, let's get this one back. He came in for it a few times. I knew he was going to have it. Sometimes you just have to persist. The fish turns away and shoots, or, shoots off after chasing your bait. If they look fired up, keep going for it. Don't give up. Sometimes they'll eventually take it. Might even save you from a blank. Let's get this one back.
we go. Oh, it's a big pitch. Oh my God, that was a big pitch. Oh, mate. Oh, right on the edge. Oh, so a little DX jerk, mate. Whoa. Shit, it's so windy. Oh, no. That was a really fat little pike. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to say, shame it was so windy because you've been able to see that. I took it right in the margin. Might as well jerk it down the edge. Right, guys. So I've been fishing for probably a couple of hours now. Um, I've got about an hour left, uh, but I want to be going back in the opposite direction. So I'm going to be going over the same swims I've just been in. Um, but there was one area where there was maybe three or four jack pike, only small things, um, that sort of followed the jerk bait, uh, but turned away at the last minute. So I decided, since I've had a bit of a break now, I'm going to go over the same area, but with a different bait. Now, this bait is also part of the DEX range from Berkeley, and it's the spinner bait, and it's in 7 gram, the one I'm using today, so a smaller size. And I'm using that with a trailer of a Berkeley's Power Swimmer Soft. It's absolutely perfect size to fit the spinner bait. I'm going to use it today. I've had loads of action on that soft plastic bait before for jack pike and perch. Fingers crossed. We'll go over them areas now. And I can get a couple more pike out before I have to go home. I've had a really fun session so far. I sent it with a few more pike now. Go out with a spinner bait in this little area. Little bit of cover, bit of trees. See if we can find anything. Bit of a stump on the far bank. This is kind of why I picked this spot. There's a bit of a lay down out there. There we go. There's a fish. There we go. Fish on. Dragged a little bit loose there on that spinner bait absolutely crushed it there we go lovely little jack pike crushed that spinner bait with a little trailer on it get it on up there look at that got a little wound on it a bit of a weird bobbly wound there Let's just about plop him down there I think whoa there he goes see you later bud There we go, what a hit, what a hit. Swim right at me. There we go, not a big fish. <laughs> drag set way too loose still. I keep lighting off my drag and then regretting it. <laughs> Come on, bud. Crushed it though. Hit it so hard and swam straight at me. Give him a little rest. Strange thinking I'd already covered all these swims already and I managed a couple more jack pike just from changing the bait. So that's another little jack pike, beautiful little fish, great condition, really hard fighting, scrappy little fish at the minute. And that one nailed it and ran straight at me and there's that spinner bait right there, don't take my tail. Wonderful little spinner bait. Went over these spots earlier, had a few pike out on the jerk bait, came back over the areas where I'd seen a few fish. And I've already had a couple more fish out on the spinner bait. And I've got a little bit of time left, maybe half an hour or so. So it's time to see if we can get one or two more fish out on the spinner bait before we go home. Awesome bit of sport on the light setup. There we go, there's another pike. Oh, we've got more. Damn it. Damn that drag up. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. What a hit. <laughs> God, he was so fast. Absolutely crushed it. 
The bank's really low here, so I don't think I'm going to use my net. I'm going home soon anyway. Beautiful fish. Some leeches on his back there. Let's get them off. There's some big old leeches there. Must have crushed that spinner bait, didn't it? Water's ever so slightly mercury. It's still clear. It's still saw the fish take it. It's when the spinner bait comes into play, doesn't it? It's a little bit murky. Nice little jack pike. It's only time to go home. I've got so many fish. I might just pack it in soon. 